how we all got in was a phone call. You have to get a phone call to be into the pool. And that phone call that day, I'll remember like it was yesterday. I was trying to do as many errands as possible to make sure that my brain was not on that phone call, but that's all it was on. And I waited till about seven o'clock Pacific time. And when I got it, I didn't know how to act. I couldn't believe that I was going into the league, backed by the NBA, playing 2K on a salary. It was a dream come true. My mom thought it was a scam. And I told them, look, I'm going to New York. I'm going to get drafted. It's happening. I always knew that if I got into the league, I would try to make a statement. My full name is Nadal Nasser. My gamer tag is my mom, that man. I'm fully Palestinian. I got a family of six. I got a mom, dad, three sisters. I'm the only son. I've uh, been playing 2K my whole life. Uh, I started as a little kid. It was something I was in love with. I got drafted round two, pick 29, to Blazer 5 Gaming, a memory I'll never forget. I got drafted with my best friend, my right-hand man, a Dane Downey, one wild walnut, and we went crazy that year. There goes that man. He won MVP the first year. I ended up winning MVP the second year. And honestly, it was like a duo that I think we haven't seen in the league since. Ended up requesting out. I wanted to go back home to California and I got traded to the Sacramento Kings. Uh, it was a short stint there, about two years. Just wasn't the right fit for me. I ended up on my dream team, my hometown team, my favorite team, the Warriors. Let's have fun though. Throughout my career, I've gotten a lot of things. Um, season two, I got the MVP. I lead the league in all-time points. I lead the league in all-time assists. Mama finishes it off with a dunk. I believe that I'm one of the most polarizing players in the league. You either love me or you don't like me. Six points for Mama. Why? Oh, I like how you Why? 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 Be for real, bro. I'm still missing that coveted ring that I plan to get this year with the Warriors. Season one, I came in, I was immature. I didn't want to coach. I didn't believe in coaches. I thought in 2K you didn't need one. So I took it upon myself to be that for the team. And it drained me. Um, I lost the love for the game. Um, as years have gone on, I've met different types of coaches and I've ran into Mike. And he's honestly changed my whole perspective on being a coach. The plays he runs, knowing when we're in a slump, all those little things that play a part into us being a great team. My name is Mike Newton, AKA Coach Mike Check. And I'm the head coach of the Warriors Gaming Squad. Season's been great. We have a great group of veterans. And then obviously we got the rookie Nay. So um, these guys are coming in hungry. If you, you go back and date all of our 5v5 games, there's a, a different guy affecting the game in a different way. And I mean, they put winning first. Getting a guy like Kenny, who, you know, season three MVP, uh, you know, had a, a crazy run with that Raptors team. Then you have Charlie, who, you know, if, if you ask around the league, he kind of is what Warriors gaming squad, um, you know, embodies. And then, of course, we got the dog being the MVP, kind of being the face of the league, coming over to our organization, willing to embrace that shooting guard role. Every time we played against him, I'm like, man, like, you know, this is going to be one of those games. He's so coachable. He's willing to take information in. It makes my job a lot easier. I'm super happy happy that I'm, I'm that man's on my team now. I've realized switching a position from point guard to shooting guard, that's why me and Charlie's relationship is so good. I can speak and say anything to him. We kind of bounce ideas off each other, whether the offense gets stagnant. My name is Charlie Boswick. Uh, my gamer tag is CB13, and I've been with Warriors Game Squad now for five seasons. When Nadal was playing on those other teams, every time like we played, it was something to circle on the calendar. When you lose to Nadal, he's somebody that's going to let you know about it. When I found out that he was going to be on the team again and that we we're going to have a full season now, I was just very excited. You know, you're going to get 100% effort. You're going to get 100% personality. It's a lot of fun playing with him, and he's a heck of a player as well. <laughs> What's going on? And I say I'm a part-time superstar. I only play the game for six months while other players play for 12. I don't play the game in the off-season for my mental side. I want to do other things. I'm working on myself outside of the 2K world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was good. I like that. From season one to season six, I've grown immensely. I would get on my teammates too much. If somebody makes a mistake, I would harp on it. Releasing all that anger and figuring out how to control my emotions and just moving on from things has been a huge relief for me. My mom used to text me after every loss. She was like, oh, are you okay? Because she knows how mad I get. And I would have to always tell her like, mom, I'm good now. <laughs> I don't take things as seriously. I really focus in on my craft. I'm ball, ball. I'm, I'm left wing. Give the right energy. If I win and ring this league, they better cut the cameras because I'm going to go insane. It's always one game at a time. I really have a good feeling about this team. We're super hungry to get a championship. These past two years, uh, we've won a lot of games, but when it comes to bracket play, we've slipped up. And as long as we continue to put the work in, we're right where we need to be. Now we have uh, two MVPs around me, which is huge. All three of us are kind of like deprived of that championship. We all feel like we've been the caliber of players who have won one by now. 
Coming together to win the championship would really be something special. When I'm older and I'm out of the league and I have kids and a family and all that good stuff, uh, I'm gonna look at this like it was a dream come true. I mean, I'll always look back at all the memories and all the people I've met. That's really the biggest thing. I've created so many friendships, brothers, throughout this league, it's insane. And I know that down the line, going to their weddings, it's always gonna be like, we really got to do this. There's so many other avenues that I wanna explore in my life. I wanna be a real estate agent. Um, I wanna help my dad with his liquor store. Whether it's being a manager in the 2K league down the line, being a GM, a coach, this isn't the end for me. My route after the 2K League. What's next for me? Very interesting question. I am going back to school for addiction counseling so I can help other people. I want to go to school for nursing. I'm going back to school for, for cybersecurity to become a security architect. I actually have one semester left in my public health degree. Go home, work, uh, see my daughter, keep providing. I want to start getting into real estate. I'm already a homeowner. Go into my family business, open another restaurant. I definitely like to be involved in, in somewhat of the NBA 2K League, even commentating. But definitely photography is the future for me. Just traveling and experiencing the world. It flew me out to LA for the All-Star game. That was like my first time seeing palm trees. Where I come from, there's not really much nice visual things. That's why I kind of picked up the photography. Travel the world a little bit, which is something I have in my bucket list. If I do something and I'm fully committed to it, I gotta give 110%. Whatever I do next, just know I'll definitely be great at it.